Alright guys, today is time to change the batteries. Uh, it's been two years since I purchased the boat. So I had these two interstate batteries uh, for two years. One of them um, is not working properly. It's giving me a little hard time to start. And the other one's still okay. So it looks like two years, they're almost gone. The reason I'm changing to MG batteries is one thing is this one has a year and a half of warranty replacement free replacement and the NSA only has one year so this tells me this battery is going to last a little bit longer these batteries are maintenance free they have no way of adding acid that's because they have no acid um, they're AGM but this one's to add acid to them or fill them up with uh, distilled water so these ones are maintenance free the regular batteries every day they lose one percent of their power by not using it now the AGM lose one percent every month so if you have your boat parked for three months this battery could die on you hundred percent but this one is only going to lose like three three percent only so these batteries will hold power more than the wet cell batteries this one is 800 cold cranking amps 1000 MCA and this one is 775 cold cranking amps and, and 955 MCA and 120 reserve capacity and this one is 135 reserve capacity so this one has a little bit more reserve capacity um, but this one you have to constantly like once a month I always charge it something I use for my battery all the time is this battery tender plus um, all you gotta do is just connect it to the battery and connect it to the power and by itself it's going to charge the battery slow charging the battery and once it reaches the full charge it will shut off automatically so it won't be running so usually what I do is I put it under my cover on the boat so it doesn't get wet I connect it and in one day I'll come back and the battery is full charged so every time I'm going to make a trip or go fishing I make sure with my battery tender that I can charge the batteries 100% and this is going to let you know when it's charged 100% so that way you don't guess if you have full battery when you go out to the ocean uh, you have full battery I will put the link in the description below you can get it at Amazon it's very inexpensive and it's, I already had it for two years and it's been running great Battery switch is in the off position. And just slide it down through here. Take it off from this side here. And same thing with the other one. Now this one I'll be able to bring it up from the uh, top area. There's plenty of room to uh, pivot. Now I've got both batteries out. I'm going to bring in the new ones now. That's where I have my uh, water supply connected to. Now that I got the batteries connected, all I gotta do now is tighten them up real good. To give the batteries tight and secure here. I got these straps. Um, the strap that came with the boat from the dealer, uh, they broke down. So uh, the attachment that you use to attach it with all the vibration will break with no time. So what I did is I got this nice strap and I'm gonna tie it down real tight to the battery uh, case here.
more dirt. Alright. Secure. Now both batteries are very tight to the battery casing, so any waves impact it's not gonna have the batteries fly out of the position there. Alright, it's all done. So now we're gonna try battery one. Okay, so those batteries are working good. Now we're gonna try the water source. Because the water is connected to the battery directly to the battery. And before I finish with the batteries, number the batteries. This is number one. And this one is number two. Alright, that's it. So it's all done.